Terry up and hit the key. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come right down here. If you were offered a position with a large company and also an opportunity to start your own business, which would you choose and why? Now, as I was reading this, I was like, okay, comparison and contrast, this, that. But to be honest with you, I think I'm just going to go problem, result of problem, and solution. The problem, large company. Result of problem, jobless. Solution, entrepreneur. Right? And I could tell this from a personal perspective too, or I could just tell this from a general perspective because I have both of them in mind right now. So by me reading the question, I immediately, uh, it set me off very quickly. How about you, Normal? What do you think is the easier one for you to answer? Uh, it's better large company. Okay, a larger company. Okay, now tell me why. Because um, is uh the company is established is um established. I don't know how to do say that. In established. English. established, established, yep. And have benefits, and mm -hmm. we don't have the risks to lose money. Oh, okay, okay. There you go. Okay, so this is what you could do. You could expand on the benefits in the for example. Talk about some of the benefits of the larger companies. You can make a list. Okay. So again, we look at benefits. We got insurance, 401k, 401k. With a retirement plan. And what's another benefit? Um, yeah. Insurance, 401k, retirement plan. Yep. Okay. And oh, what is that? What is that? Uh, 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 job security. Although I totally disagree considering what the state of America is in right now. America, I'm telling you, the economy goes as low-wage jobs go. Because right? mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. And I don't know about New York. I think I know some people that live in New York and stuff like that. But to be honest with you, New York is the biggest aberration ever. Because it's like, oh, a family to live in New York City, they need to make 123000 usd a year and i'm like but the majority of america is on minimum wage the, re the rest of america is on minimum wage so man mm -hmm. I people who are still making eight dollars and 25 cents out there in las vegas they've been making that since 2006 so again i'm just going to talk about the way where okay a lot of jobs were at it but if the economy goes down a lot of unemployment Right. Mm -hmm. These are the bigger things. So I'm just going to look at it from that perspective. So here we go. Always got to do your introduction. Now, your introduction would be like this. Well, I do understand both points oh, made by, by the students. Yeah. Now, check this I out. Agree. I agree with Yak. That's right. Now, do you have to read Emily? Absolutely not. Don't even waste your time reading Emily because you already agree with Jack. So who cares about Emily? So while I do understand both points made by the students, I agree with Jack. Jack, that working for a larger company provides many more benefits. There we go. I'm not going to get too specific. If you get too specific, what are you going to say in your example? See what I mean? So that's going to be your opening introduction. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert right over here a line, and I'm going to give my opening introduction in terms of working for an entrepreneurship, okay? Well, I do understand, but, uh, whoa, okay, here we go, let's try that again. I do understand both points made by the students. I feel like Emily didn't say shit. Oh, she's a risk taker. Starting a business appeals me way off the ground. Potential higher. Once a business was off the ground, it would offer more potential for a high income as well. I'm not afraid to work hard, and I really like to be able to make by my own decision, which I will be able to do as an owner. Hmm? I like this. I like this. So again, there are some key terms that I'm looking at there that I'm going to be using: risk taker, higher income. Okay, risk taker, higher income. So what I'm going to do, I agree with Emily that being an entrepreneur 
such as being a risk taker, has high rewards and development. Ooh, high rewards development. So you're like, Arsenio, what does that mean? Well, in my first example, I'm going to say high rewards. In my second example, development, talking about what do you actually develop into? Now, remember, I just told you like two seconds, uh, two seconds ago, I was like, okay, let me, I'm going to do problem and solution. Nah, I'm just going to give two examples and the result of them. Now, remember, I'm telling it from my own perspective, too, because at, at you know, but, but to a certain extent, I am obviously my own business owner. And it's because I did not want to work. And, you know, you, you don't know this, but I did not want to work for people who kept putting me in a box. Because I am black to them. Right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. denied over 250 jobs for being black. It goes to show you that, you know what? Now, nah, how about this? Fuck all of y'all. Okay. I'm going to do my own thing. Okay. So that's what I ended up realizing, especially again. Yes, I do. You know, having a, a job out here in Thailand that provides the visa and work permit. At the same time, I only give the bare minimum hours because that's not helping me grow. I'm building his financial future. Is he looking? Yeah, at but no. some some companies, when you work for some companies, they offer like a incentive bonus, and you can right. work. You can work like doing your best, and you get more than others. Exactly, exactly. Like international schools. This is something that my wife always told me. How about you try to work it at an international school? I said, listen, I don't want nobody telling me what to do. I have to do the lesson plan. I have to do this. I have to do this and work my day through fat. No, 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 no. I want to live. I am a liver. <laughs> so I was a risk taker to the bit, like at the very, very beginning, because I realized the more I learn in regards to skills, TOEFL, IBT, the more I earn and then I could scale. Right. And so given that perspective right there, I'm like, OK, I could do this. Now, international schools, absolutely amazing. If international school were to say, Arsenio, we will give you this salary every month, I would probably turn it down. Because I don't want to be told, like, you have to show up at school at 6.30 in the morning. No, thank you. <laughs> I want to be able to work out. I want to be able to take time off. I want to be able to do, you can't do that international schools, right? And so there you go, freedom too. But nonetheless, these are the different things that all, all of which I live and everything you know too, this is what we are going to include in our academic writing. See, and so this is why a lot of people, they, they have a tendency, Norma, of trying to develop all of the, uh, trying to develop their imagination at the time of writing and writing yeah. about things that they cannot expand on rather than reliving some of the things they have heard or they've spoken about or other people have lived through and implemented that into their writing. This is what we need to do instead because sometimes they get stuck oh i don't know what to write okay well let's think about it and then when i tell them yeah you, <laughs> you you're like i don't know what to write but guess what we just spoke five minutes about a lot of different things you have everything to write now hmm. and guess what there are a lot of things that started popping up in your mind when i started talking to you're like hold on but they could give you bonuses and incentives <gasps> that could be the result oh that could be another one of the examples for you this is exactly what we're trying to do. All right. So here we go. Remember, this is your four example sentence. Okay. So this is, these are our introductions. Now we're going to go into these example sentences. Okay. So here we go. Bam. All right. So remember, you're always going to start off with that four example. Now you said benefits. Now the thing is, we need three body sentences. So how are you going to be able to separate each of the ideas into three body sentences? This is the approach that you're going to need because you're like, okay, benefits. Now, Arsenio said, okay, for example, I could add in a furthermore or also because I am given just benefits. And then the third sentence has to be as a, a result, right? Mm -hmm. Format is going to be, okay, benefit one. Benefit two, and then 
result of benefits. That's kind of your sentence by sentence format that you're going to be using. The thing is, you're going to have to expand hugely in terms of each of the benefits. That's the thing. So here we go. What's benefit number one? You said insurance, right? Yeah, insurance. Okay. All right. So here we go. What type of insurance are you talking about? Health insurance. No. Okay. Okay. What about life insurance? We could throw that in. The AI. I have life insurance either. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Here we go. So if you were to write this, by working in a larger company, ooh, gave you a couple of words. <laughs> All right. You have a variety of different insurance options to choose from, such as health and life insurance, as well as auto insurance. I don't know. I'm just lying. Oh, okay. yeah. No, it's I, I just wanted to make the, the, the sentence longer. See, that's what I wanted to do. My goal was to make the sentence longer, because if you were writing this, you probably would have just said, for example. Larger companies have good insurance, such as life and health, period. Mm -hmm. It's a bit short of a sentence. See what I mean? So you see how I was able to extend that by using a gerund clause right here. And then saying you have a variety of different insurance options to choose from, such as health, life, as well as auto insurance. Ta-da! Lots of unique words. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that make sense? So there you go. That is your benefit numero uno. Mm -hmm. All right. So we got that. Okay. And if we actually look at the word count, we're probably at a step, what, 53 right now. We're at a steady 53%. Okay. Okay. So now let me go grab mine. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I got to put your benefits right over here. Okay. I'm going to insert mine right over here if I can. Insert. Bam. Boom. There we go. Aha. So what am I going to do? I'm going to talk about, okay, high rewards, development, and then as a result. That's my three-sentence breakdown. Now, the thing is, I need to talk about the high rewards this is going to be a little hard because, again, if you were to ask me, Arsenio, if you do problem, result of problem and solution, would that be much easier? Absolutely. So if I were to take the test, I would always do the easier one no matter what. Okay. Problem is, because I'm doing this one, I'm going to be, I'm going to have to provide a for example and also and then as a result. So for example. If we look at high rewards, such as being an entrepreneur, I don't want to talk about decisions or anything like that until the second sentence, which is the also, which is about the development. The high rewards. Oh, my God. What is the high rewards? Working by yourself. Oh, my God. I'm about to switch it up to problem and solution. I'm going problem can, and solution. You can handle your, your schedule. You can. Yeah. You can decide when the time you work. Or so yeah. And that's a reward, right? Huh. Oh, man. I think I'm, no, no, I'm not. No, I think I'm making it too hard. Goodbye. All right. I agree with Emily <laughs> that working as an entrepreneur has far more benefits than working for a large company okay made it simple now i'm going to talk about problem result of problem and solution makes it much much easier for example yeah go ahead <laughs> I, I think i think i i did one time something like this one and i choose the work at home because the schedule to pick kids from school and things like that you have to you can handle your your time and that's I good. I like I said, like, but the thing is, how am I going to be able to build a 20 to 25 word sentence in terms of schedule? It's not that big of an idea. That's why when you said, OK, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this. Now, the development was going to be very easy. 
me writing about the development, no problema. But the problem is like the schedule. So what am I going to say? For example, I could wake up in the morning and I could choose what I'm going to do and take my children to school. There aren't that many unique words and I'm not, and that's not really a deep idea for me to be able to expand on. So that's why I deleted everything. That's why I'm like, you know what? Nah, because I know by going problem and solution, I'm going to have access to more vocabulary, making it very, very easy. Okay, so if I look at this, okay, that working as an entrepreneur has more benefits. Okay, so for example, if you work for a large company, aha, your job security is at risk based on the economy. Wait, based on the economy of the country, such as United States job market. If you or, have is you you you, have, you you if you have your own business, it's gonna be yeah. It's gonna <laughs> It's going to be the <laughs> about the economy of the country are you working with. So it doesn't matter if it's, uh, you, you are the owner or you're working for somebody else. So if I if I were to, if I were to, um, what is it? Here we go. What's a large company that always has significant job loss? Let's go check. Okay. Which companies have the worst job loss every year? I don't even know if that's grammatically correct. Okay, Apple, Amazon, Amazon and Apple. Okay, uh, I'm kidding. No, but the thing is, no, because I totally did. I forgot about Apple and Amazon and everything. Yes, Apple and Amazon. I, I was going to talk about the auto industry because Toyota and everything and out there in America, it just sucks ass. Because how often, year after year, you hear Toyota slashes 40,000 jobs. Those people could have families and they could be fucked. Mm -hmm. Those people could have, oh my God, they could have a mortgage of 3,000 USD uh, and monthly expenses actually, of 4,000. Actually, we have a good point in that because um, with retail in the United States after the pandemic was down. Uh, you go to the mall and a lot of places is are closed and go out to the store. I, I they are not working anymore. I'm telling you, what 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 happened even before the pandemic? Remember Sears? Remember Macy's? Sears. Remember no, Macy's, so Macy's, is still, but in, Macy's is still but in some places. But I'm gonna tell you something. Walt uh, Disney closed every single store in the United States. If you want to buy, you have to go to the uh, to the park or Disney Spring. They close all of the stores. Disney. Disney. How about Boeing? Now, but the thing is Boeing, I'm going too technical. But again, Boeing has a business, men, as a CEO, and he's cutting jobs that are important as hell in terms of death or staying alive. Mm -hmm. is You see, so um, again, Bowen's totally different, but look at Disney. You're right. A company that's worth billions, yet they're still trying to buy everything. Look what they did to Marvel. Okay, that's a little bit outside, but Disney totally destroyed Marvel. Look at Marvel. Marvel's finished now. Five years, not a word of anything. It is over, right? And so uh, what else? Uh, oh, my God. No, Netflix, nah. Uh, oh, my God. There's so many different things. But look at that. Apple. How about Tesla? That's, that, uh, sorry, as Elon Musk, he's over here cutting jobs, and he's a trillionaire already, I believe. And the Instead, uh, instead yep. to talk about the economy of the country, we can talk about more about um, specific. more specific, like um, For because example. the development of the internet, um, the AI. Um, you want to go AI? We could easily talk about AI. You know, AI created writers and everything. They are finished. There are websites right now that I just saw yesterday. Yeah. That write the articles 
perfectly with AI. They okay. don't have to hire writers anymore. Uh -huh. Good job. Where's uh, intelligent, um, uh, smart, how, este, artificial. artificial intelligence. Yep. Okay. Yeah. In the United States, artificial intelligence has put a significant amount of jobs at risk. Such in big, as in big companies, uh, 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 jobs in at big in big companies such as Apple, Amazon, and others that mm -hmm. rely on writers. No, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay, fuck it. That's all I have to write. Typically, that's no, all I, have to write. Now, I didn't expand on that too much. But you see here, artificial intelligence has put a significant amount of jobs at risk in big companies such as Apple, Amazon, and others. Now, I didn't talk about the jobs. I would love to talk about the jobs, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I could easily, now, obviously with Apple, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You can talk about, well, no, because you're talking about artificial intelligence and um, the web are Ah, that's right. Okay. And then so taking everything in the business outside. Right. So. right. so even even so, I could in, in the next sentence, I could talk about a couple of things too. So as a result, if you are living in New York City and you have been laid off from a journalism job you are at risk of being homeless because it is just too ex uh, I think I'm going off the beaten path I feel like I'm going a little bit off the beaten path let me let me focus okay as a result let's focus on jobs let's talk about those jobs okay so if we look at the jobs here as a result uh, many the, the people company. no the company the companies who have worked people to make their work trillion dollar companies oh, may be know. laid off year after year or something like that you understand what i'm saying i know i'm going a little bit i'm going way too deep into it right but at the same time my first example is about ai and how it's benefiting companies such as Apple and Amazon in terms of getting work done faster. But as a result, the humans, okay, humans in general mm -hmm. are the ones who are at risk of being jobless because these companies can actually pay $10 a month, okay, $120 a year instead of paying a twenty dollars to a $100,000 salary a year to employ mm -hmm. someone that does the same job as a robot. There you go. Do you see what I mean by that? Now, me putting it out in words, it makes a hell of a lot more sense. Mm -hmm. And so such as be, and so being an entrepreneur, what are the benefits of that, right? And so if I were to talk about those same jobs, let's say somebody being laid off uh, Apple and they are a writer. They could start up their own writing business. Now, although, and remember, it doesn't really matter about the content because you're not being graded on the content. You're being graded on how you say it and all the different words. Write it, no. Right? And so, a journalist, as a, or, you know, a great solution to this, would be, or being an entrepreneur, right? Being an entrepreneur uh, guarantees, which is bullshit, I know guarantee sustainable income that's a lie but don't worry because the indians and the ai tech they don't fucking know okay guarantee sustainable income because you are the one responsible for your money and assets in general i do not have that vocabulary i know i know that was that was a huge sentence i know that was sexy as hell yeah Oh, I, just, I just want to let you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, it's pretty high sentences, okay? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, sentence. yeah, I, mean, I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, but you see what I did there. Being an entrepreneur guarantees 
a consistent salary and you don't have to worry about being laid off from a company that doesn't give a shit about you or your family. Ta-da. And then I would just put the therefore right there. Now, remember, again, there are so many different ways that we could go about doing this. Now, going back up to yours, if you look at benefit number two, what would benefit number two be? Oh, no. Okay, now, with yours, benefit number two, remember we were talking about by working in a large company, you have a variety of different insurance options to choose from, such as health yeah, insurance. Yeah, the benefit number two is um, you can grow in a company. Um, you can... Give me an example. You can have the opportunity, like if you are... Uh, um, like you are working um, as a manager and you can be a territory manager, district manager and be like grow, grow in a company in the position you are working. Okay. Okay. You could work yourself up the corporate ladder. I can't even spell ladder. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> the corporate ladder, like what's, what, what's above a manager? What's up? Is the supervisor below or above a manager? I don't even know. The manager, you can you can have like um an office, and then that manager have a district manager. The district manager have a territory manager. When our big companies like eighteen thousand eighteen hundred in the United States, they they work in that way. Gotcha. In the manager position. I'm so glad you said that. Thank you so much for saying that because I just realized that. There was, um, I used to teach business English to regional managers at a bank. These motherfuckers were filthy rich. Oh my God, it was four of them. They couldn't speak English worth a damn, okay? And I remember I asked a woman, I said, what do you do? She's like, oh, I'm the regional manager of this area. And I'm like, Jesus. This area, because they, they <laughs> split the territory in areas and they have yep. the territory, they have the yes. South, South Florida, Middle Florida, yep. Florida, like East Coast, West Coast. And they start like, and is the manager from the manager from the manager from the manager from. The you see what I mean? And then you just go higher and higher and higher. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy, man. That's a that's what I love about that specific company because it's a well that specific bank because it's a private bank and you have those types of positions and you can work your way up. You can yeah. work, yeah. If you, if you fight for that, like you show you can do a skills and things like that, you can go up and up. Right, right. Oh, that's, that's what I think. You're funny. You know? See, now, now you understand and now you see exactly. Okay, this is what I need to be working on. Okay, this is, the you know, it's all about that. If you look at benefit number one, you look at benefit number two, that's a solid job. Then you just talk about the result. As a result, you have job security and you have a future for your family in case something happens to you in regards to your health. I don't know, just making shit up, just playing to put uh, just put yep. the result of those two. I love that a managerial position to a regional manager. Woo! Lots of unique words. Hell, I kind of like yours a little bit more than I like mine. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of what we have to do. We have to like invent, well, you know, by looking at the question and saying, how am I going to approach this? That's exactly what I did today. I walked you through that entire process of how to approach and go from here to here. First sentence, okay, this, lay that foundation. Example number one, it depends if you're going to go problem and solution, comparison and contrast, double example by the with the as a result. It all depends what is easiest. Be like, you know what? Looking at this question, I think it's going to be easier for me to give a problem and the result of the problem and the su suggestion, because it's asking about what can governments do to improve the environment? What can these giant companies do to improve the environment? Mm -hmm. you see? And so that approach is very easy. But if you look at what we were just doing in regards to, you know, um, what is it? Would you work for a, a larger company to start your own business? There it is. But to also put this into perspective, Norma, it does say if you were offered a position, you yeah, could easily a, give a personal example of why. A position with a large company and also an opportunity to start your own business, which could you 
Neutral what? Uh -huh. So to be honest with you, if I were to give a like a personal example, the problem is I don't like personal examples because it seems like it's too much conversational tone. Is yeah. Right. It's just like, okay, you're just speaking like very, very basic words. And the AI software is just going to give you a four. It's never going to give you a five because you don't have that many unique words. So I could easily do that. While I do understand both points made by the students, I agree with Emily that being an entrepreneur puts you more in control of your finances. Now, check this out. I'm going to do problem, result of problem, solution. For example, in 2020, uh-oh, I'm going personal exam. When the COVID pandemic had taken over the world, I was practically left jobless because my boss's inability to switch classes from a traditional classroom setting to a virtual setting. <laughs> that is amazing, okay? All right, now, remember, I'm giving a personal example. What's the result? As a result, there were months that... I had gotten just a small portion or, 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 or let's just, yeah, a small, a small amount of money because the tutorial center was shut down by the government. So I decided to create my own brand, which was already in the process online in 